Imagine looking into a mirror that doesn't just bounce light back, but reflects age, time, and origin. A mirror where instead of seeing your own face, you stare into the newborn universe. That is exactly what the James Webb Space Telescope was created to do, to look so far and so deep that it could witness the first moments after creation itself. But what it found when it finally gazed into that ancient darkness was not infancy. Not primitive matter. Not the fragile beginning scientists expected. Webb observed something that defied every rule of cosmology. What appeared in its data was not a baby universe, but a mature one, organized, structured, and impossibly advanced for its age. The discovery did not just surprise astronomers, it cracked open the foundation of modern physics and forced science to reconsider everything. For decades, textbooks taught that the universe unfolded slowly. The Big Bang occurred, the universe expanded, and darkness ruled for hundreds of millions of years. Only later, star by star, did light return. Galaxies should have formed gradually, like cities rising brick by brick over ages. But the further Webb looked, the less that story made sense. When Webb focused its golden mirrors on a quiet patch of sky, a region thought to be almost empty, he caught something no one expected, a complete galaxy. Not a faint blur. Not scattered gas. A rotating, spiral-armed structure with star nurseries glittering inside it and a massive black hole burning at its core. A galaxy already thriving at a time when, according to every model, galaxies shouldn't have existed at all. Soon there were more. Not one anomaly, but many. Entire groups of galaxies, chemical signatures, elements, and structures far too developed for such an early age. It was as if cosmic time had skipped ahead, like pages torn out of history. Astronomers compared data again and again, but every measurement pointed to the same truth. These galaxies were ancient in age, but young in location, existing only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This wasn't evolution. It was acceleration. And when scientists analyzed the spectral fingerprints, the light signatures that reveal what galaxies are made of, disbelief turned into silence. Those early galaxies contained heavy elements like oxygen, carbon, even iron. These elements take generations of stars to create. First stars must form, burn, explode, scatter their metals into space, and new stars must rise from the enriched remains. The entire cycle should have required billions of years. But Webb captured that cycle completed in the cosmic dawn. It meant that stars had formed quickly, died violently, and been reborn in rapid succession. The early universe wasn't calm. It was busy, forging, collapsing, exploding, rebuilding at speeds beyond known physics. It worked like a factory under extreme production, racing through processes we thought required eons. The shock deepened when researchers discovered a supermassive black hole at the heart of one of these galaxies. Not a young black hole, but a giant, over a billion times more massive than the Sun. In the modern universe, such titans grow slowly, feeding over long stretches of time. Yet there it was, fully grown in an era where it mathematically shouldn't exist. Nothing about this made sense. Scientists proposed new ideas. Maybe black holes could form directly from massive primordial clouds. Maybe dark matter shaped galaxies faster than expected. Maybe time in the early universe flowed differently. These were not small adjustments, they were new rulebooks being drafted in real time. And then the discoveries became more unsettling. Machine learning analysis on Webb's deep field images revealed repeating shapes, galaxies arranged in spirals and ratios nearly identical to natural mathematical patterns like the golden spiral. The universe was behaving like a fractal, echoing the same geometry across unimaginable scales, as if designed with a template. This was not random distribution. 
It resembled layout, structure, blueprint. Even stranger, Webb detected complex organic molecules drifting in what was once believed to be empty, sterile space. Not simple gases, but polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, molecules related to amino acids, the building blocks of biology itself. They were ancient, older than most stars, floating in isolation as though life's ingredients were seeded almost from the beginning. Life, it now appeared, was not a late development. It was a built-in feature. Then came an image even scientists struggled to interpret. A pattern of six galaxies orbiting around a central mass, spaced almost perfectly like petals around a flower. Their motion, distance, and symmetry were too precise to be coincidence. Many tried to explain it through gravitational lensing or random clustering, but no simulation recreated its harmony. Some labeled it, the cosmic flower. Others called it a marker, like a symbol waiting for an observer. As Webb continued gathering light older than Earth itself, strange behaviors were noticed. In some data reviews, patterns appeared to change subtly depending on when and how they were analyzed. A whisper of the quantum observer effect, reality adjusting under observation, now stretched beyond subatomic scale, hinting that maybe the universe does not simply exist, but responds. Not passive. Interactive. Aware. It felt as if by building web and aiming it at the beginning, humanity triggered something, like switching on a light in a room long dark. We did not simply observe the universe, we made contact with its memory. The universe did not just reveal itself. It acknowledged us. Webb has not only expanded our view of space, it has torn open the curtain of creation. Galaxies formed too early. Chemistry too advanced. Black holes too massive. Patterns too perfect. Molecules possibly tied to life drifting through ancient voids. The cosmos is no longer a place of quiet expansion. It is a system with structure, rhythm, and perhaps intention. Maybe the universe did not grow into complexity. Maybe it began with it. Maybe we are not discovering the universe. Maybe we are remembering it. And now humanity stands on a trembling threshold. For the first time, the universe feels less like an accident, and more like a script, written long before our world existed. Webb has captured not the beginning of everything, but the evidence of something older, deeper, and endlessly more mysterious than we ever expected. This is not a final answer. It is the opening of a door. Because if Webb showed us anything, it is that the universe is not silent. It is speaking, in light, in patterns, in ancient geometry. It has been carrying information for billions of years, waiting for eyes capable of seeing it. And now those eyes exist. So this story continues, not with certainty, but with awe. The universe is older, faster, sharper, and possibly more alive than we imagined. Webb has not just looked back in time. It has made time look back. We didn't just observe the cosmos. We were noticed by it.